course, it wasn't really a while, but it was just a lot of NBA or whatever it is. Um, it's probably the rookie dude or something. Being used to that, and coming from college, it's what we're doing. Yeah, I got you. Um, talk to me a little bit about your experience. Um, making it to the Final Four this past year with Oregon, and not only that, but just some of the things that you learned in college that you feel like can carry you over to next level, or maybe things in college that you weren't necessarily as good at, um, but that you look forward to um, showing people this upcoming season where they may say, hey, you know, we, we didn't expect this out of him, but wow, he's really showing us this. What is that this for you? Um, I feel like that Final Four run was the most amazing uh, feeling. I'll never forget that. Um, looking back at that, I could tell my kids and my family about it. So um, I feel like I'll never forget that. And that's an accomplishment I really wanted to do. Uh, as it, for this season, um, what was the first one again? Just kind of like, you know, what what is something that uh, as a part of your game that maybe if, if, if there's a game that you're playing in it and you hear a commentator say, wow, we knew he was good at this, but we didn't know he could do this stuff over here. What is that other thing over here that maybe people don't recognize right off the back about your game? Yeah, definitely in college, it's different. Coaches don't want to do specific things. Just not do that because that's not a part of their game plan. Here in the league, they want you to do those things. So I feel like this uh, my at the basketball game, I'm working on my floaters in college. Uh, Coach, I said, no, no, mm -hmm. he coach all me at Oregon. Mm -hmm. He's well, it's, it's, it's not really what he wanted. So, but here, he's working on that. You know, you know, you know, it's, it's, out here, you need a floater. You know, you need to keep it around the bigs and all that. So I'll say that. I noticed that. I know the coaches are adjusting to it. I think I mean, that's my game, but the college sometimes is to show that. Mm -hmm. so, you know, I feel like you know, it's, um, I don't know. Whoever watched me, like, surprised a lot of people with what I could do. I feel like definitely in college, you can't show as much uh, as people in the league because they, they feel like sports, they, they work on their game 24 7, so that's why they can do those things. What do you expect to? I guess, what do you what do you expect to be your role um, on this team coming in? What kind of things do you know that you can bring to the table walking in right away that you can help produce? Uh, I don't have any expectations on my role. I don't know what it is right now, but whatever coach needs me to do and um, play, um, I'm going out there and I'm going to do that. So uh, I know I can bring in, come in and shoot it. And space the floor and also become a backup ball handler as well. And uh, playing the pick and roll and making reads and making decisions and running pace as well. So I uh, definitely can come in as well as shooter. Do you, do, you, do you ever feel like you're an underrated or underappreciated defender? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I feel like I'm an underrated defender. Coming in as a rookie, you want to get on that floor, you got to defend. So I've been working on that all summer and I'm trying to learn it. Outside, staying out that key for three seconds, so he's learning the way to play. The coaches learn how they like to run defense and their schemes and all that, so I'm definitely focusing in on the defense and uh, right off the back for me. Has the practices, uh, all the practices that have been go into that, but how intense has it been, or how emotional, rather, excuse me, has it been for you just this whole experience, everything that you've just kind of taken in? In general, just by from, from from the time that you got you know announced that you're going to be an Atlanta Hawk and been drafted, uh, all the way up until this point, like what has it been for you or been like the experience been like for you emotionally as an NBA player? Um, I'm living for this, so emotionally just it's like I'm happy. It's my job. I need to do something I get to love to do every day. So for me, I'm happy every day. I wake up with a clean sheet, smile on my face, ready to go. I mean, everybody has it rough days, but I'm just ready to uh, be in the NBA. I've been living for this, you know, working on my game 24-7. So, uh, to have this opportunity is a blessing. So, uh, whatever, whatever happens, is, is I'm blessed right now. So, uh, uh, there's been my last question. There's been some recent roster changes uh, within the organization within the last couple of years. Um, there's going to be some doubters, some naysayers, and there's going to be some uh, people that 
have been saying the expectations for the team this year is low. Some of them even as going as far as saying that the Hawks will be the worst team in the NBA. Um, what is your initial response to that? And if you don't agree with it, why don't you agree? With it? Uh, disagree or agree. For this team, we're a young group, a bunch of new guys out of jail, but we are going to come in and compete every night. So we don't play basketball to lose games at any level or any time. So I, I, I don't have expectations. I feel like sky's the limit for this team. And uh, whatever we put our mind to and uh, go fight for, I think we can go do it. Thank you. How you doing, man? How you doing? Don Stinson, nice to meet you, man. What's the biggest change from Oregon to Atlanta? Oregon, the rain. Right. It's not raining like Oregon all the time. Uh, that's the biggest change, probably. Uh, I feel like I won't see as much rain as I did in Oregon. So how have you adjusted so far to being in Atlanta? Uh, I think I'm adjusting pretty smoothly. You know? I like it out here. You know, getting used to everything, getting used to where I'm at, where I stay at. You know, everything like that is going really smooth for me uh, coming down to the south. Where's home for you? Okay. So, once again, a more warmer climate and everything. Anything you're homesick about yet? No, I haven't been homesick yet. Really? Uh, not that, not that, uh, not, not yet. Not yet? <laughs> not yet. But uh, I feel like you're traveling so much uh, during the season that being here is just, it's not just about being here and getting homesick. You're going to be all over the place. So, uh, right. I don't feel like I'll. What are you most looking forward to when you go back home? Uh, go back home? Uh, like, let's say the first game in L.A. L.A., uh, I'm just seeing my family and new friends watching me play in the NBA now. Mm -hmm. It's probably the uh, most exciting thing for me. And uh, being able to play on that state is something more as well. Because uh, I've been to a couple games when I was middle and uh, Kind of a surreal moment, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, what do you listen to before your game? Uh, I listen to all different type of artists, depending on who, who I'm in, what I'm in the mood for that day. Uh, I listen to Kendrick, Gucci, man, Nipsey Hussle, YG, a lot of West Coast artists, but definitely a lot of uh, varieties and right. egos. Pretty much whatever, whatever I'm feeling that day. Okay. If you weren't playing basketball, what sport would be your second one? Second? Uh, I would say football, but it's so brutal. And, and it ain't, money's not guaranteed either, so I don't know. I'll probably say baseball. Baseball? Baseball. I like football, I would say, but just how it goes. I played it for one year, I didn't really okay. like it. What position did you play? Obviously. Obviously, okay. I like it, but it's just it's pretty good. Do you have a football team that you follow? Uh, I, used to, I like the Ravens when Ray Lewis was there. I still like them now. I'm not a bad way. So I definitely like the Ravens, but uh, I like them. Cause That's kind of different to be yeah, from Pasadena to be like a Baltimore like Ravens. Okay. That's my favorite player. player. So I just follow what was it about Ray Lewis that you liked? Uh, his swag, his energy. The energy. Yeah. Yeah. To, the, to his game and the team. Just, now, like do you think you can give that kind of message that the team comes to you and say, hey, we're about to play the Knicks. Give us a Ray Lewis speech. Jeez. <laughs> uh, I actually haven't listened to a lot of Ray Lewis speech, but he's definitely a motivational speech. Definitely. Uh, I, I don't know. I can't say <laughs> <laughs> you can't do the whole dance and get the team ready. <laughs> yeah, I actually, I, I probably could do it. You could do it. Yeah, I could do it. <laughs> okay, before I let you go, what's the one thing you're trying to improve on this season? One particular aspect of your game. Uh, just, uh, become a better defender. Yeah. Definitely uh, become a better defender. Own ball, also off the ball, and just becoming better at better at those things and. Um, learning the schemes and coming into the game, knowing who I'm guarding, knowing this team sees and all that type of stuff. And, uh, studying the game, uh, trying to learn every aspect of it. Okay, gotcha.